Alrighty, guys. It is Monday, the 3rd of July. Are we tackling Oka Yeg? I think that's how you... There's no way I know exactly how you pronounce it. All I know is that it's a green map. I saw a checkpoint on sausage, so maybe there's some sausage gaming right now. Oh, th actually, this is what I saw in the thumbnail. This is some saturation. We got tech. Well, at least it's probably mixed style. We're, it looks like we were going onto a ramp, possibly onto grass. So I'm going to guess that we've got a mixed style. We certainly do. That's going to be a, an outside dirt turn. I don't know why, but I do not like this. This this is like the TMGL spring theme. I do not like it specifically for the road. And the reason I don't like it is because the road is shiny. And the reason that that's a problem is because with the shiny road, my brain thinks it's plastic. Oh, that was so nice. Um, I saw the arrow and was just like, all right, I'm going to the, I'm going to the right. Well, this is plastic. There's no way this isn't plastic. I like this. This plastic is nice. I need to drift that better. a nice mixed style track. I actually really enjoy that. I think that's really cool. Now let's see how well I can do on it. Oops. I touched that wall, but did not gain any slowdown for it. Oh, that works out so well. This time I'm not going to go right immediately. I kind of got myself into a no slide there, but that's still pretty good. This map has a weird combination of the the TMGL stadium and the original. I don't know why I saved that replay. Like it's it's a combo of the original Trackmania stadium and the TMGL stadium. Also, it's built in the corner. Why is it just built randomly in the corner? Like you see this, like it's got this. It's got the TMGL or the TM World Tour, the TMWT. Like you can see that there's this this bigger stadium. And then inside the bigger stadium, there's the smaller stadium. And then shoved off in the corner of the track of the of the state of the of both stadiums is the track. It's kind of weird. But it's not a big deal. Track still looks nice, regardless of the fact that um, the weird stadium situation. Need to be more on the inside of that. Oop, I hit the wall and then I took a screenshot. I don't know if I need to drift that. It just feels like I do. Oh, 
Oh, no. You don't want to get air there. I also sl didn't slide there. Good. Didn't work either. Break more. I feel like, you know what? I feel like there's a strong, like, color correction going on in the track. But I don't know if that's actually the case. Or if it's just like the start being very lit. Oh, I touched. It's really easy to do. I also don't like necessarily being way up on the inside over here because I bounce. I don't know if that's what I want. may not need to break that first one. There are no arrows there, which makes me think that the map group did not intend for breaking, but it feels like I need to, and so my brain is going, oh, you should break. Let me make sure I get as far over to the right, jumping off of that as possible, just because makes my approach better. I don't actually know if I hit the wall there. Oh, I have full on crashed. Yeah, I need to break more there just so that I can be jumping more to the right. I think breaking more would would lose less speed than jumping correctly on this jump. Now, I braked way too much there, but, you know, the, the, the premise is the same. Yeah, like this. And then don't do that, but I have a choice there. know if I need to drift. I still don't. <clears throat> oh, I, <clears throat> it's entering the dirt. I'm at this point getting a little too greedy and I'm entering the dirt not fully going straight on. Not fully finishing the corner and so because of that I'm, I'm the back tire of my car is being kicked out into the wall. See, that's what I wanted. Now, I still let up, but I didn't break. Oh, 
was nice. And that was also nice. It was a whole second of improvement. There we go. Okay. Good bit of improvement there, just from better lines at the end. <laughs> what a weird little, like, oh, 69 United States. Let's go. If you look, whenever I finish and I just sit there for a bit, right before we get into the replay, the, I get a random shot zooming out really quick of, of nothing, seemingly nothing. You know, I know how mods work, like track mods, texture mods work in Trackmania. I completely understand how they work, but I would kind of like it to be, it would be, it would be cool if like these TMGL mods are just like an option you can enable, like whatever the current season of TMGL mods are being used, just, just let that be an option to be selected right as you're creating a track. Like, without having to go through the process of the normal way you add mods to a track. Now I'm going to say right now, I understand the process. It's not hard. It's really easy. But I think for people who are newer to mapping, just having that option of, like, a different look just easily available to them would be pretty nice. Or go all out and just make them make the modding process the process of loading mods just completely in the game obviously let let people do it the old, uh, original way but also let me put on texture mods like straight in the straight from in the game I think that would be cool. That would make it even more accessible to people. get there. Ooh, that was extremely tight. And I'm slow because I'm hitting like penalty stuff. That was cool. Pro tip, don't hit that. That's why I, that's why I, I jump far out in that jump early. I've been trying to, because it lets me cut in.
Didn't need to let up there, but I was scared. I was scared. up like that so I can cut it in, make this somewhat smooth. Risk the more there. You're just running into the finish for 0 0.13. 46, 3, 2, 1. Look, <laughs> yeah, you see there's just a random cut of me crashed into a tree for like half a second before I, you know, cut to the normal. I cut to the replay. It's like, whoa, I'm in a tree. Revolutionary. Or something. I see. Oh, okay. That was bad. The start makes the track look like it's a green themed track, which it, I mean, it's not. It's. I would say probably more blue themed than anything. The mapper just kind of did a good job at theming the, the, the parts of the track well around their, their like blocks. Like this has road. But the mapper decided to use road here and because the road has like some pink on it. Um, the mapper was like, you know, you know what, let's just go all out and make this whole like little tiny section here pink and then you jump off into the grass section there and the grass section that gets way more green not as green as the start the start's actually more green than that area but like it's a maver did a good job at theming this the smaller sections of the track like this is this green and then it it actually kind of fades very nicely into that dirt section which has a lot of orange and brown So, you know, the mapper faded it in. We have, you know, orange and brown. And then, like, literally, as soon as we get off the dirt, we're up on the normal track again. We're up into... It, it's on it's on platform track. There's no borders. There's no borders. I believe the mapper even chose to use white platforms so that the borders were white. It's really well done on the on the the individual sections. The theming is consistent, but the coloring is sort of varied depending on where. Okay, the mapper didn't use white platform. At least not in that part there specifically. You don't want to do that. Definitely don't want to do that. I haven't seen it yet, but apparently they added a couple new blocks in the patch where they changed ice again. I just find it funny that they changed ice. It made it a lot faster, which I guess is nice for older maps. And we'll see. I haven't played ice yet since since they changed it, so I don't know how it'll. I don't know how I feel about it. Um, they made it faster. They also made it so. They tried to get rid of ice wiggles, which, uh, let's face it, uh, is a deeper problem is a deeper problem than I think even Nadeo think, because um, they didn't fix ice wiggles. They just made them they made them slower, but I'm not saying that they made them slower than just going in a straight line. I mean they made them slower than they used to be, but they're still faster, from what I've seen. In the small amount of research that I've done. 
is that they they're still they still exist they're not as fast as before but they are still technically better than just driving in a straight line Lost speed there. And that's white platform. I knew I knew I saw a white platform somewhere. I just didn't know where. I find it interesting that white white um I'm pretty sure this is white plastic. Because of the border. The border is white, which means that white plastic is this weird blue color. With these weird holographic supports. That's interesting. <laughs> I wonder if plastic in general is just that blue color and it's not and it's not changed by the color selector. Wait, I think I know the answer to that. Because if you look here, this is black plastic. Okay. Did end a run to just announce that. Wait, no, what? Hold on, hold on. <laughs> now I'm really confused. That's green plastic. Or is that... Oh, this isn't plastic. You see it as a texture? Whereas... This, you can see... Oh, it does have a texture, but it's different. I'm almost certain this is a different block. That green is different than the plastic. Than what I know to be plastic. Ooh, huge speed. That was super bad. Look at that, minus 12 speed. And then I did that, of course. Of course I did that. I have a lot more sp I, I felt like I had a lot more speed but I guess I don't do I just win off a better end I do I do just win off a better end huh it really do be like that Kinda can very easily get away with cutting those two corners on that on that grass thing, that narrow grass. Oh my god. I was 0.3 ahead of 
course. My camera um, moved there. As a Cam 2 user, I could tell that, like, I... That's, like, a very interesting... Because you couldn't tell, odd, like, through audio that I got air. But because the way my camera moved, I can tell that I had gotten air. That end is not that good. But I got so good before that I'm just ahead by point two. Oh my god. 70 and 50. Nice. See if I can improve that. I might be able to get point two just from having a better end. Because I did lose point two over the two end corners. Just from bad drifts. Point three. There's the author medal. Huge. It's actually huge. It popped off right there. Big improvements gained right there. I still think my end is not that good, but it's about as equal as my previous one. And what's well, actually no, it's slightly better. The second, the very last corner, I did better. Um, but I think in general the. Like, I did a really good dirt section here, which is uh, quite a big speed increase, actually. just a little bit too much a little bit of greed you know what I, I should watch the GPS just because 44.9 well this is right that's still pretty fast that's 0. 0.6 faster still no drift there I kind of expected that but it doesn't completely hinder a fast time oh there's a drift there though why is his, why is his, 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 like, driver completely orange? Eggs. Oh, the, oh my god, the risk there. Oh, okay, the, the end is really good. Okay. Well, after watching that GPS, unfortunately, we've hit the end of the video, so... I will see you all tomorrow when we talk to whatever track happens to be the track of the day for the day. I don't know why I'm saying it this weird way, but until then, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day. I'll see you all later.